So there are a few characteristics of minimal genomes. Um, fewer than a, a, a million nucleotides, uh, hundreds as opposed to thousands of genes, a very limited metabolism. This turns out to be pretty important to these guys and why they can't be free living is that they, and I'll, we'll get into that a little bit later, and that they're insect and no symbionts. Um, this is sort of the wrong picture, but it's mycoplasma, which is free living and is a uh, uh, sexually transmitted disease. Right, but this is actually like, I think there's a, like a famous case everybody knows about where cat, if fish start living in caves, within a short period of time, you'll simply don't have eyes. And that's a similar thing to happen with the genome of these guys, because they just don't need all of the genes yes. to survive in an environment where they're completely free here. I'll, I'll do this side, you can do that. So they have no diversity in the environment. Yeah. Their environment is to eat sugar, to the gut, of a particular uh, insect. That's all they're adapted to. They don't live somewhere else in some like in some other environment. They are simply adapted to this. And cave fish exactly. They just lost all their genes the same way that they do their size. But they symbiotic too. So they do. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go into a little bit about them being actual symbiotes and not and not being um, parasites. Mm -hmm. Remind us what's meant by very limited metabolism. So, in terms of very limited metabolism, uh, all of the things that you would need to generate energy on your own, so generate energy from food or in combination with a few other organisms, uh, that would be a full metabolism. If you didn't have all of those features and had to rely very heavily on another organism to do your energetics to give